<laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, at times, I'm not kidding you. At times, I feel like that. I have become the cautious, vigilante, positivity police. I can't think of another word to come up with right now. I just saw, again, and these posts have been coming up forever. Oh gosh, probably 10 years now. I, I saw something on Facebook and Instagram and somewhere else. It says, you know what? If you want to be successful, only do what feels good. And I have to tell you, it's absolute insanity. It's just craziness. It taps into individuals wanting to get a lot out of life with minimal effort. It's a very, very scary place to be. It really is. And I'm part of the problem. <laughs> My industry is part of the problem. Up until around 1997, we used to teach those very words. You know, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. It means you're off. It means you're doing something wrong. If you're trying to make a lot of money, only do what feels good. If you're trying to lose weight, only do what feels good. If you're fine, trying to, to retain deep love, only do what feels good. Oh my God, how insane is this, right? I mean, if we, if all of us look in the mirror and I myself am calling myself out, I apologize for teaching this insanity, you know, because it is insanity. It's craziness. And why do I say that? It's not that I'm Mr. Negative. Oh my God, I'm the most positive person in the world, but I also am extremely realistic. And I think <laughs> as I get older, my realism is coming into play and I'm starting to, to, to calm myself out and other people in my industry saying, we've got to stop the insanity. Do you remember Susan Powder? Stop the insanity. This is going back into the eighties. I think I forget, but you know, she was that chick that lost tons of weight and she came up <clears throat> with this program, stop the insanity to tell people that, Hey, you know, if you want to lose a lot of weight, you got to work your ass off. You know, if you want to lose a lot of weight, you have to radically change your nutrition. I mean, she was the first one that came out against all these programs that still go on today about if you want to effortlessly lose weight, then you have to change your mindset. What a bunch of crap. No, you have to change your habits and then your mindset will change on its own. So what about this statement? Where is this coming from? Only do what feels good. Well, it's coming from people that are trying to promote a program or a book or something else telling you that you shouldn't have to work that hard. So let me give you some examples of why this is absolutely freaking nutso. This is insane. This actually holds more people back. This philosophy, only do what feels good on your way to find deep love or to lose the weight or to make the money you want is absolute insanity. <clears throat> Let me tell you why. For 27 years, I've hosted a nationally syndicated radio talk show, and I've interviewed the best, the most in incredible athletes like Keith Mitchell. <clears throat> Excuse me, my, my voice, I've been speaking a lot. <laughs> Keith Mitchell, uh, he's a former NFL All-Pro linebacker who was paralyzed, and now he's one of the top yoga gurus in the world. He had to work his ass off to be an NFL All-Pro quarterback. If he only did what felt good, he would never have become an NFL All-Pro linebacker, right? What about Meatloaf, the singer? When I interviewed Meatloaf, he talked about how hard he had to work <clears throat> to create the career that he had. You know, if I talk about people that have created deep love, like I write in our, our book on positive thinking, you know, I interviewed this couple and I actually worked with them for a year. And then I put their story in the book of how they came back and saved their marriage after an affair. They had to work their butts off, man. They didn't just do what felt good. Or what about Tracy, my client that lost 80 pounds? What did she do? Listen to this. She lost 80 pounds 10 years ago. We're still really good friends. She's kept it off. How did she do it? The only time she was a, a mom at the time, married, a, a kind of a tough relationship, three kids. She worked full time. The only time she had to go to the gym was 10 p.m. in the evening. She wasn't excited about it, right? If she only did what felt good, she'd be 100 pounds overweight last, right now instead of 80 pounds less than she weighed 10 years ago. I, I'm going to be that vigilante out there. I'm going to do it with a smile. I'm going to do it with fun. But I'm going to tell you, you have to work your ass off for a big goal. The bigger the goal, the harder the work until what used to be hard to do then just becomes who you are. I always tell the analogy, you know, if you had children and, you know, I've helped raise many children and around the age of four, when you're teaching them to brush their teeth, oh my gosh, it's a pain in the butt, right? For the parents and the kid. 
So if we only did what was easy, we would just go, okay, you know what? They're giving way too much resistance. Let's just let them not brush their teeth. Well, that's crazy, right? If we only did what felt good, no one would brush their teeth and we'd all have gums right now. <laughs> Me, you, everyone watching, gosh, we'd be nothing but gumballs. We wouldn't have any teeth if we only did what was easy. You don't like to floss? Well, you're going to have dental problems. You don't want to brush two times a day? Okay, you're going to lose your teeth early. You know, these are the type of things that we need to be very vigilant about. I call myself the positive vigilante police because the messages out there are insane. If you pay too much attention to all these feel good stuff, you know, and this is coming from the law of attraction and some of these other well-known programs, you can't just do what feels good. You have to do what doesn't feel good if you want great success. There's the secret. Joe Cerulli, you know, I write, get chapter one of our number one best-selling book on positive thinking at davidessel.com. The link is above this video or talkdavid.com. Ray Hignan, <clears throat> how he went from, oh my gosh, how he went from uh, an individual who was in foreclosure, to a single dad, two kids, not making any money at all, lost all of his income to become a multimillionaire. He did it by doing what he didn't want to do. You know, like that's what he did. My, my mentor, Joe Cerulli, he's another story in the book, right? Like we ended up having him when he told me his story of how he went from being homeless to a multi trillionaire. he had to do what he didn't want to do. What about Scarlett Lewis, who lost her son, Jesse, at the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre? She had to go into, she had to go into, into, into her rage, her resentment against the murder of her son. She just didn't do what felt good. She didn't just go into some kind of meditative bliss to be able to forgive Adam Lanza, her murdered, her six-year-old son. You know, Evelyn Keeling, my friend on Facebook, she lost 240 pounds. Evelyn just didn't do what felt good to lose 240 freaking pounds, right? Come on. Well, you know, if you want to be financially independent, if you want to have a great relationship, you're going to have to do some pretty tough stuff, okay? And then it just becomes who you are. And then it's not as much effort as when you started. But let's get rid of this crap out there, these messages that drive me nuts. Can you tell it? <laughs> Mr. Positivity is saying, let's get rid of this insanity. Let's get back into reality. I want all of you watching this, oh my God, to have the life you desire. You deserve it, right? The money, the body, the love, whatever it is that you want, the freedom from addiction. But you're going to probably, if it's a big goal, you're going to have to work your ass off. There's the bottom line. Hey, you know what? Get chapter one for free. Find out how this woman found the love of her life instead of following just doing what feels good. How In chapter one, it's all free. This woman came in with two years of writing affirmations every morning, journals out of the yin-yang. She had never accomplished what she wanted in life. When she started doing what didn't feel good, guess what? In 12 months, she had the money she never thought she could make. It's not just about money. It's about weight loss. It's about love. It's about whatever you want. Uh, sobriety. Okay. Let's get rid of the nonsense. Let's move into action and let's do, if I can ever help you, we offer a free 15 minute session on the phone just to get you started. It's called a jumpstart session with David Essel. Absolutely free. Go to the website. You'll see all, inf all the information. I'll post below too. Okay. Either davidessel.com or talkdavid.com. Hey, you and I are going to create the life we want. We're going to bust our ads doing it. And then we're going to sit back and enjoy the rewards. Okay. It won't be as hard once we get it going. Love you guys. Have an awesome, awesome day.